I'm going to read for you an excerpt from the short story, A Girl is Sitting on a Unicorn in the Middle of a Shopping Centre. It's Monday and Maya is having the greatest stock take sale of all time and there's a giant backlit poster of Miranda Kerr smiling indulgently with a wrist of pearls and the shopping centre is flooded with daylight and hope. There is a girl sitting on a unicorn in the middle of the shopping centre and the artificial trees are green and shimmering and the lady at the makeup counter waits with an armful of flyers and a cherry flavoured smile. It's Monday and children tug their parents' sleeves and ask if they can ride the pony or the zebra or the tiger. They clamber into miniature saddles and pedal the giant animals across the checkered tiles. There is a girl sitting on a unicorn in the middle of the shopping centre, framed in the square of the skylight, wearing jelly sandals and pink tights and a tutu skirt and a t-shirt which says Elsa and Anna. It's Monday and today there are specials like no other and there are pert macarons at the patisserie counter that are all the colours of a chalky rainbow. There are vast pyramids of cruelty-free bath bombs that smell like avocado or honey or fizzy sherbet. Miranda Kerr is smiling and her teeth are brighter than a cache of luxury steak knives and her eyes are huge caverns of feeling. She believes in her pearl bracelet and she wants you to believe that she believes in her pearl bracelet and together you have a special understanding, just you and Miranda Kerr and nobody else. It's Monday and there are unbelievable markdowns and shoppers mill around with their arms crossed waiting for their boost juice. There is a girl sitting on a unicorn in the middle of the shopping centre, concentrating fiercely. One hand grips the decorative reins and the other hand is buried in the knotted purple fibres of the unicorn's mane. This unicorn has been the chosen mount of 43 children before this girl. This girl is the last hope. She's listening to the unicorn intently. She has unthreaded her feet from the pedal stirrups and she is listening most, most carefully. She is a good listener. Oftentimes, instead of telling the girl to be quiet, the girl's mother will give the tips of her ears a very gentle push forward and say, use your listening ears for now, please. Her mother, Elsa and Anna are the girl's most favorite people in the world. It's Monday and the shopping center is filled with children's laughter and avian and rainforest sounds courtesy of the Australian Geographic store. And the girl leans close to the unicorn and shuts her eyes and nuzzles its furry head. She is using her listening ears. The unicorn says that it doesn't know how it can go on. The unicorn says that it wants to die. <laughs>